Detroit is Different is the one-on-one -on -one perspective of storytelling about the culture, community, and business moves that shape Detroit. The collage of people that make the city dynamic journey with Detroit is Different to places and meet people that are active in making a story to tell what makes Detroit so different. Where the world's best fresh water runs, fresh ideas, fresh perspectives, and all around fresh people create the culture we adore. Detroit is different. You're listening to the Detroit is Different Podcast Network. Camera one rolling, camera two rolling. Detroit is different. We're here. In effect, we're talking Michigan Fashion Week, and I have somebody that's definitely been a star. You guys see the shine already. Harmony, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? All is well. All is well. So let's talk a little bit about fashion and what led you into this world. What drew you into the world of fashion? Honestly, um, what drew me in was I'm an artist altogether. Okay. So okay. from from performing, singing, dancing, acting, modeling. Okay. I just love to just be everything. Everything. You everywhere. were like you were like that kid that was in the summer camp and it was like, oh my gosh, we Can another she idea, like, oh Can my she god. Come down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, no chill. No chill at all. It's just in my blood. My whole family okay. is performers. It's, it's in me. So um, one thing that I did get a talent I got from my mom was her walk. Mm. She wow. stepped. My mom can step. Okay. And I would watch her and mimic her walk. So mm. as I got older, I would step with a presence that demanded attention. Mm. And it was before I even recognized it myself. Mm. People came and told me, hey, do you model? You should model. You mm. really need to get on a runway somewhere because you're not just walking like that and you don't model. I was like, mm. uh, well, maybe I should try it. And I got into it and I haven't stopped ever since. Okay, so so your passion in all this creativity, so the modeling, yes. the, the acting, the song, the dance, mm -hmm. everything. Everything. So it, when it comes to modeling, what what's the what's the flair? Because for people from the outside in, like we, we don't know really that art form. That's a it's an art form that like in some ways it's like, are y'all just walking, are y'all just looking? But it's definitely something different, like what you say. Like yeah. it's one of those weird nuances, like where it's like, yeah, they probably do it. Versus another person where it's like, mm, they probably don't. Like exactly. what, what's the what's the flavor? What's the what's the culture? What's the creativity in it? I would say it starts with confidence. Number one, first and foremost, that's you got to have that just presenting yourself to the world as anything. You got to be confident in who you are. But as a model, it's almost like all of the different talents that there are put into one, you know, because you have to be able to act with any designer. Designers are different. Their vibes are different. You have to be able to fit your hanger, right? But your moving hanger, you got to fit into that designer's brand the way that they need you to fit and you can't just say well i'm this type of person so i'm gonna do this type of modeling no you gotta be multifaceted you gotta be easy to to adapt to any situation you know and that's a talent that comes with just having new experiences being around a lot of different types of art because you see where different inspirations come from Everybody has their own, I guess you could say, community. But as a model, you kind of fit everywhere. Wow. It's just, it just depends on what you want to do, where you want to go. And then also, I guess, just that presence of mind of like, like soon, you, you may have in a matter of three minutes, I don't know, 3,000 pictures being taken. Exactly. Out. Literally. So like even that presence of mind of like knowing to stay focused yes. through all of that, like... You know. Yes, there's always a lot going on. Like a photo shoot, <laughs> it can be it can be uh, jarring to someone who's not, like I said, confident in their own skin. Because even though you're a walking hanger as a model, you still are a person, and you as as a model are your own brand. Before you represent another brand, you are your own brand. So you have to stay true to who you are and never let just the the notion of oh i'm going to be seen change who the essence of who you are so your style what what do you add to that essence uh definitely adding the the as they say the black women rock feel to to mm -hmm. modeling and we know definitely that industry fashion has not been the most inclusive sometimes yes uh 
How do you make sure your presence is known, seen, heard, and to carry on and build up the confidence to keep pouring out for the show? Well, it's all about networking. You gotta you gotta let your voice be heard. You can't just stand in a corner and think, oh, because I have a pretty face, they're gonna see me. You gotta get out there. You gotta let them know who you are, what you wanna do. I personally, like I said, I'm an all around artist. I'm not just a, a model. So I like to let that be known to designers, even if it's just a, a fashion show. Like my talents can be used in a multitude of ways. It just depends on what you need. And I know that all of the different talents that I have can build on any brand. It doesn't matter what kind of brand it is. So I I just love to, to encourage black girl magic. I'm with it. So how do people get in contact with you? How do they connect to more of the artistry? Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at okay. Coco Harmony. That's K-O-K-O underscore Harmony. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much. Thank Peace. You. Detroit is Different is where you get information, artistry, history, music, and even comedy. Detroit is Different, a home for the culture of Detroit. Visit online at DetroitIsDifferent.com today.